Hey guys, this is Dan from Let's Tank, and today we're going to be doing something I didn't actually think I'd have time to do, but I did manage to get a bit of time, and that is to do the Guardian Druid's Artifact Quest Chain in the Legion Beta. Now, out of all the tanks, this is probably the longest Artifact Quest Chain. There's a lot of mumble-jumble you've got to do, and the Druid's Class Order Hall is very, very maze-like, and I did get lost a few times during this video, I do apologise for that. But I did manage to complete it in a pretty timely manner. I think I did it in between 30 and 40 minutes, which isn't too long but compared to the other artifacts of the tanks, which are like around, I'd say, 20 minutes each. It is very long. So to save video time, I have sped this up maybe twice as fast as I actually did it. Um, just skip bits where I start getting lost and you can kind of see where you need to go for when it comes to live. It should help you actually complete it. I will talk through the video just to like give my thoughts on what's happening. So let's begin. As with all the artifact weapons, you're going to start off in Dalaran. A little servant of Kaggar is going to pop up and give you a quest. And then from there, you're going to follow the quest to wherever it sends you. In this case, it sends you to Moonglade. So all you do is use your Moonglade teleport. And as soon as you're through the door, you get a quest. The quest is just to find two NPCs. You find them and then you get them back. And you're going to open a portal up with Malfuria and you'll channel it. And this sends you to the Dream World, which is a really cool looking class order hall. It's probably my favourite, apart from it is really maze-like. I must say the Dream World is probably the most beautiful class order hall I've seen. The actual graphics are just immense, so while you're there, please just stop by and have a real good look at it. Anyway, once you've admired the scenery, we're going to then go and turn in the quest, which will lead us to be able to pick which artifact we're going to take, and we're going to take the Guardian Druid ones, which are the Claws of Ursoc. This again, the quest follow-up is going to send us to find an NPC. This is where I kind of got lost because you've got to actually find the barrel entrance and then manoeuvre around the barrels and then get out the barrels. And yeah, to find the entrance, it's just to the right. I ended up going like forward straight to the mark on the map, which is actually wrong. You need to go to the right and there's a hole and you go underneath and you follow the path round and you finally find a... It's a bit of a ball ache, but you can finally get it. You just want to try to save as much time as possible because... After this, you start taking portals and start going all over the show, and it's just going to add to the time it's going to take you to get your uh, artifact weapon. So once we've turned in at this NPC, she's then going to send us back up the hill to where I originally thought she was, and there's a moon well there, and you just click on the side of the moon, there's these small little purple vials. Just right-click on them, you complete the quest, or you've got the item to complete the quest, and you go find her. We're then going to take some portals and get to Grizzly Hills. Luckily for us, there's loads of portals in your class order hall that'll take you to random places around the map. I'm pretty sure each portal has some kind of significance to the druids, but I'm not really into my lore. You probably want to go watch a channel like Noble87s, and he'll probably explain it in one of his future videos. But for now, we head through the portals to Grizzly Hills. And once we're there, we're going to look for the same NPC again. Now, on the map, it shows it it's on this hill, but you need to go into, like, there's, like, a big tree. You need to go into that, fly down, and it's actually under the ground. If you do what I do and fly around like a headless chicken for five minutes, you're going to, again, waste time. It is very, like, maze-like, this artifact quest, so just bear with yourself. You'll finally work it out. Just watch the video. It's really easy. And once you're there, you turn in the quest, and she makes you go and collect dead shamans. Now, these shamans, you need to fly out of the tree trunk, and there's a big area where you can collect them. You want to pick them up, and they give you a satchel. You're going to loot the satchel, and keep rinse and repeat until you get the three items you need. You're then going to go back into the tree, and turn them back into her. Once you've done this, she's then going to summon Ursul through whatever sacrifice or whatever she's doing with the items you've just given to her. Once you've done that, you speak to Ursul, and he's going to give you some challenges to do. So pretty much the trials are pretty much defend the quest giver, which is really easy. All you need to do is just spam swipe and thrash and it's pretty much done. Interrupt the spell casters and I think there's like three quests to do all together or trials, whatever you want to call them. And once you've done that, you're then going to go back into the Emerald Nightmare and head and kill loads of mobs until you get to Ursoc. Ursoc's in his spirit form it looks like. And you can see your artifact weapon just to his right. Now, you need to prove yourself to Ursoc, but before you can do, you get attacked by Xavius's monsters. These come in waves, but fortunately for you, you get help. So what you want to do is pretty much drag all the mobs into the Starfalls, and you should receive basic heals while you're doing this off of the NPC. So while this is all going on, the NPC, what we've been turning the quest in, is uh, de-channeling the barrier, protecting the artifact weapon. So you've got to keep doing these waves until the barrier is down. 
Unfortunately, as the barrier breaks, Xavius turns up, stuns everyone, gets Ursoc and takes him away. And then you've got to fight his other minion. He steals the artifact weapon, which makes him into like a real nasty guardian druid. So you kill him, you do the same, you drag him into Star Falls. Once he's dead, you loot your artifact weapon, you talk to NPC girl, you go back to your class order hall, turn in and it is done. Now, as I said, this does take a while. I have sped this video up quite a lot so it fits into a short video, but it is probably my most favourite artifact quest. I hope this video does help anyone who needs the help. Like, comment and subscribe for more videos and I'll hopefully see you all guys in Legion.